Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is video from input to output series. So as usual we have input. So let me explain you what is the input structure. So we have array of object. As you can see that it, it is array and this is object. So object 1 and object 2. So let me explain you what is the structure of objects. So inside the object we have one called parameters. Inside the parameter, you can see that there are three objects, org ID, sales org, interface ID. So as a part of parameter, we have a three uh, key value pairs, org ID and value, sales org and value, interface ID and value. So why I'm explaining the parameters? Because our next video is purely based on this section. Okay, so what kind of requirement we have? We have a requirement is kind of is that we are getting a parameter org id or sales org id or both or all threes so those parameters from input or basically from the query parameter is it is coming dynamically uh, user may send only org id so we need to check org id with rd id and user may send org id and sales org id or user may send org id sales id sales org and interface id all threes to check with their values so what kind of it is a requirement it is an input to output based on dynamic parameter checking so let me explain you what kind of uh, query parameter is coming so i have a three sets of query parameter will be coming uh, in first set you can see that it can become as combination of sales org and uh, org code so we are going to check sales org value or code value with this parameter or code and sales org another one as you can see that user may send the combination of sales org and interface id or user may send a combination of all threes so it is not fixed kind of filter conditions those parameter are dynamics user may send one user may send two any of two or user may send all threes so this is a kind of requirement we have so as i have explained uh, let me open a data view editor and create this requirement so as you can see that i just paste the payload and uh, this is um, basically my input payload and as of now i am not doing anything here let me first return a query params okay so first set of query params variable one query params is equals to this as of now we have a, this kind of query parameters okay and uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically apply here filter. Okay, so on filter, basically I'm going to check like uh, uh, item. Okay, dot parameter dot org ID is equals to, is equals to uh, query parameter dot org ID. So as you can see that I just, I am just checking org ID uh, with this one and I am getting a result okay let me as of now we have uh, got two parameters let me apply uh, another condition as well uh, sales org is equals to is equals to query panams dot sales org okay so as you can see that I am checking both condition okay because from input parameter I have got sales org and org code so I am checking both condition uh, both parameters condition if both is matching then I'm getting a desired result okay but uh, here is the catch this kind of filter I have applied as a kind of static filter I know that sales org and org code is coming that's why I just hard coded uh, static filters but here we have a requirement for dynamic filters so as we have a requirement for dynamic filters, so that we need to create a such logic whether user can provide a combination of filter parameters so that's why we are going to create this condition so let me create one function check condition check condition function where i'm passing data item and query parameter as well query params okay this is a kind of filter condition we have so as of now i'm returning true <laughs> i'm going to call this function here let me remove those and let me call check condition i'm passing the item 
and I'm passing query parameter as well. Okay, so I've just uh, did nothing. I simply remove the static condition and just uh, create one function which function return true. And here I have just called a function check condition. And this function, when I call this function, so every time I'm passing one item, item is nothing but one object at a time. So as you can see that I, my payload is array so that I'm able to apply filter on array. So it will give me every iteration item, every iteration as an item. So one item is nothing but object. This is one object, this is another object. Okay. So when I call a function, I am passing an item, nothing but object and the, as it is query parameter. Okay, so to this function. And as of now, this function returned true. So as you can see that the whatever we have an input, the output is the same. <coughs> but ultimately, based on these two condition, this particular item should return. Okay, as of now, it is not returning because of we have not write function body. So it is time to write a function body. <coughs> Uh, yeah, so in order to do function body, so we need to check query parameters with data item. So let me uh, do that. Uh, for now, let me change to map because you will able to do that. Keep what is check condition function is returning. So I just uh, just basically convert filter to map so that I'm able to see the check function condition. Okay, so query parameter is object so that's why i am going to apply map object okay okay so when i apply map object i am getting key value pair key and value basically key is nothing but this value and value nothing but the value of the key so here i need to apply a condition okay so what kind of condition i will let you know so data item dot parameter and then key is equals to is equals to query param key okay yes so map object data item dot parameter key here i'm passing key as a dynamic so it will basically retrieve the value from parameter based on dynamic key value key uh, value as of now key is sales org and so second iteration it will be org code and the query parameter is also i'm passing i'm also retrieving the the same key so i'm checking whether it is condition true or not so as of now it is failing because map object return always object but here we are returning as a basically true a boolean value so we have to convert this to object so that's why i introduce an internal variable called data okay so let me wrap this star data okay so as you can see that i have created a kind of intermediate data for two iteration this is the first iteration and this is the another iteration why there are basically uh, two value basically length of object length of arrays Two because we have a two uh, query parameter first and second that's why the length is you can see that two so first is matching the sales org whatever value is coming from a query params four five five two it is matching with the input parameter first object and the org code also matching with this one that's why these two this basically first will return true so what does it mean it means that first object properly matching okay Another object is not matching because both value is not matching because sales org value is 4558. Here we are providing 52 and it is this RDPK. We are providing ID, ID underscore ID. That's why the both value is not matching. So we should need to return not array here. We have to return if all condition become true, then the, the whole array should be converted to true. Okay. And it should not be array. It should be Boolean true or false because check condition we're calling here. So let me convert this whole thing into one Boolean uh, output type. Okay, so I'm going to use this output. Let me apply do here. Okay, do. Okay. I am saving this, this value as inside temp and 
this is it my temp okay so i've just not i just uh, not doing anything i'm just basically using a do why because i am using this temp variable inside here okay so i am going to check if size of temp currently is 2 okay but i need to check all condition must be true then i need to return true so that's why first i'm just filter all false from here dollar not equals to false okay and then let me calculate size of okay so equal to equal okay so as you can see that first is true because all conditions are matching second one is false because uh, because there are both condition is not matching let me copy this value also as you can see it is just false only let me show you let me show you what I have done so basically I have just filtered out all false here okay I am just checking whether all parameters successfully match or not as, as you can see that the size of the true the size of basically all condition all parameter is equals to the size of excluding false if the size is same what does it mean it means that all parameters are matching so that's why i did that so let me <laughs> do control z so as you can see that first all parameter is matching second is not matching so all parameter is matching sales org 445 uh, sales org 4552 and org code rd underscore uh, rd underscore id is currently matching with the first object this is why first object okay so let me convert to filter <laughs> okay and as you can see the input is coming so let me introduce uh, uh, let me just check another combination so here i am providing interface id is this so as you can see the first is parameters matching let me provide sales org as well sales org as well so once i provide a sales org as empty so it is not matching with any value because as you can see that the sales org value is not matching so let me provide an actual value for sales org so when i provide the data is coming so i can only provide uh, one element as well and i can provide a two element as well i can provide a third element as well so basically all key values are dynamic but the the node or precondition is that the key must be matched with the query parameter and provided uh, input uh, parameters or code sales or interface id okay if i change like this there is no value is coming because this particular three values are not matching with anything if i remove these two conditions so as you can see that this interface id is matching with this one okay so this is all about from my side uh, as you can see that i written a data view code where it is checking a dynamic parameter checking with provided from query parameter to an input thank you Bye.